Oh, but the Sherman might have eyes on the King Tiger. Oh my god, what a horrifying sight. If I was in this tank, I'd be absolutely shooting myself here. He's coming, he's coming. But now we have AAA fire, and the pack gets a direct hit! Goes up in flames! Oh no, this is just game over now. He's in a horrible position here. He's broadside into King Tiger, and the King Tiger gets shot on the Sherman. And look at the Germans just pouring in here. And they're gonna make it, and then they break the breach. They breach through the lines, and they're in the trenches. And this is truly a scene to behold here, ladies and gentlemen. A situation I never hoped to be in in real life, but something I'm very, very happy to be part of in the virtual world. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Top Down Tactics. My name is Sledge, and we're back here on the Exodus servers. Today we're playing once again on Squad 44, and we got a match between the United States 44th Division against the Wehrmacht on Utah Beach as you might be able to recognize. Honestly, I gotta say, not one of the better looking maps on this uh, game so far. I'm sure they got a lot of work to do on it, but it still looks pretty cool. Right now, we're just gonna follow the United States Infantry into the battle here. And it is a game of supremacy, so both of these teams gotta rush for the mid-cap, and whoever gets there first gets the cheese, as I like to say. Let's see who's going to make it there first. I believe this is going to be the mid-cap here. This measly little building, is that it? Yep. Or this area here. Really not a whole lot going on here. Not a lot of cover to keep these guys alive for very long. Oh, never mind. I stand corrected. Things are rendering in. It seems like the higher I go, the less things get rendered in. So I guess this is going to be the height of the battle for us. And let's just see where the Germans are. It looks like the Americans are definitely going to reach this area first. No question about it. And the Americans just streaming into the cap here momentarily. we got a bunch of Germans coming in, though, with some Logi trucks and one tank. Let's see what the Germans are packing in terms of heavy armored firepower here. And just zooming in, I can spot just a truck. And I believe... That is a. That is either a Panther or a Tiger II. A King Tiger. And if it's a King Tiger, I am gonna feel really, really bad for the Sherman. And it is indeed a King Tiger. Tiger II, look at this beast of a tank. Wow. This thing, you would hate to run into this thing on the battlefield, let me tell you. Magnificent in all his glory. Slow as hell, but comes with a lot of armor and firepower. This thing is going to be hard to take on in the long run, but seemingly going to take a very long time to get to the front, so the Americans have some time here to get a foothold on the attack. And so far, they are completely uncontested, so... Let's see what happens here, because I haven't played a whole lot of Supremacy, so I can't really speak for how it works properly, but I'm guessing that... The Americans are meant to get here first because it did seem like they got here very, very quickly. Awfully fast. Unless, oh, it's the Americans that are on the defense, I see. Okay, now. And the Germans have to try and retake this objective. We have Squad 2 here coming in from the west, seemingly on foot, trying to remain undetected. And it looks like it's a very good flank because right now the Americans are completely unaware or not even paying attention right now to the western flank. And Germans do have... A little bit of time here to go, so the Americans do still have some time to think about this. But seemingly only two infantrymen here are actually turning to face the West. But if they're not careful here, Squad 2 is going to get a solid spawn up on the West flank of AA position. And is going to make their time defending AA position a whole lot harder. And the fighting is just about to begin here on the north side of AA position. Germans taking up positions inside the barn. And the answer, DT, being very aggressive here. Maybe a little bit too trigger happy. Wanting to get some kills right off the bat, but... I don't think you can see anyone. Let's try and turn off labels here and see what they're seeing. 
And we got two Americans here. It looks like they might have spotted someone. They definitely see the, the vehicle. So I'm sure he knows that there's going to be a fob here inside the building. Yep. And it looks like he's figured it out. He's probably gotten his first kill already. The Germans know they're there now. And a fob pulling up on the logi truck, pulling up on the west side of AA position. Oh. And this man is absolutely creaming all these Germans, man. The answer, DT. An absolute fucking beast. Oh. Oh, and they traded! He almost completed the squad wipe. But Ger Gerard or Gred. Gerd, sorry, absolutely creams the answer and stops his crazy kill streak. But Gaga coming in might be able to revive him to somewhat save the streak. But regardless, the Germans have wiped off this point, and their fob is already looking to be destroyed. Taking a look back here at the west side, we got the Tiger King Tiger pulling in really slowly here in the north side. Still got some time before it comes in, but the Germans just now getting their fob up here on the west side and this looks like this is going to be their main point of attack they had that fob on the north side it would have helped them significantly to surround the americans here but now the americans only really have to focus on the west side for just a little bit of time here until that king tiger arrives from the north and then they're going to have some serious problems i honestly don't know what the sherman is going to do about that King Tiger, unless he gets a really lucky shot on its rear or its side, maybe get a nice track. But that cannon that the Sherman has is just no match for the King Tiger. And only one Kenobi pushing out, trying to help his friend Ragnar Lobark. I don't think he's aware of where they are, they're just trying to get out of there. They're stuck in the bushes, the Germans doing a really good job of flanking on their south side now. Perhaps trying to find a spawn point. An ace coming in from behind and oh and he gets absolutely creamed by Dr. D. <laughs> some really interesting names here by some of these players. In technical CL coming in and having a firefight with three Germans. This could be devastating here. Oh, and one man goes down. It's just one squad leader left with the Thompson submachine gun. Plenty of firepower to kill these men, but he's gotta be really patient with what he does. They seemingly don't know where he is. I think throwing that smoke might have just given away his position. They might see this. Oh, and there he goes. The Ger Germans being very aggressive here. Sparing no lives. Giving no fox and absolutely creaming the Americans on the western side. And it looks like they are gaining superiority here on AA position. Let's quickly go check in with our little friend here. The medium Sherman tank. He's going to be doing a lot of damage here to the Germans push. But he's got to be careful that King Tiger is momentarily going to be arriving here on the north flank. And he's none the wiser, as he should be, unless he had ESP and he'd know that. But And honestly, he's just kind of shooting into the blind here because there's so much smoke. I don't know how he can see this, but he's just shooting. It looks like a one-man tank. Bonko. Oh no, there's no way he's going to get this tiger. This is going to be a very dangerous fight for Fonko. But the Americans extremely occupied here. Trying to fend off the Germans push from the west. And they're doing a surprisingly good job considering how aggressive these Germans are. And there's push has seemingly slowed down a little bit here and we have one american pushing out all by himself like this is a call of duty game and he gets absolutely creamed as you would expect this is a tactical suit shooter ladies and gentlemen you don't just push out and do shit by yourself and what's this the americans have gotten up a spawn point behind the german spawn point on the west side of aa position this could be critical oh no it's a rally i apologize we got knight oh absolutely getting creamed and they're being held down by an MG42. This is very unfortunate. Very precarious situation for the Americans who are trying to deter the push. And this... Oh, wow. That is just... This is horrible. I think this German with the FG42 might think that he just killed this guy, but he's still alive. 
crawling away, trying to get a new position. And he's got the notorious grease gun. He's got Americans pushing, trying to get some kind of foothold, and he pushes up. He's going to get the kill here, and he does. He's got to be careful. There's a German with an MG42 right behind that rock, and he might see him. And he gets killed. Very difficult push here through an open field. Is there not much you can do in these fields other than using bushes? Honestly, a horrible experience for the Americans during the invasion of France. And that butt saw just absolutely uh, shredding yeah. through the cream of these American skins. But that MSP is still up, apparently, and we got two Germans here flanking them. Where is the King Tiger? The King Tiger is still nowhere to be seen. Hiding up there. And the two Germans that were flanking the MSP are starting to get some kills. They might be able to disable it if they get within range. But Americans are still spawning on it, and they are aware that the flank is coming. And look at that. Oh, they get one kill. And we got a German with a G3 just missed every single shot. And the Americans managed to stop the flank. But their vehicle goes down. That's it. There's no more spawn. They're surviving solely off of their rally. That's still intact. But you can say goodbye to the possibility of a fob for now. The Germans really occupied here. Just going to get rid of the remaining... American infantry, and it seems like they're making a full-on retreat, planning on maybe getting another fob up or radio somewhere else, and that is probably exactly what they're going to be doing. And the Americans holding on to AA possession by the tip of their skin. Oh my god, why do I say the tip of their skin? The tip of their fingers, for fuck's sake. And the King Tiger pushing in. There he is. The King Tiger... Crawling very slowly towards the battlefield. Might hear the Sherman popping off rounds here. And if he keeps on this road, he's going to see the Sherman. And hopefully the squad leaders are going to call this in. Oh, but the Sherman might have eyes on the King Tiger. Oh my god, what a horrifying sight. If I was in this tank, I'd be absolutely shitting myself here. He's coming, he's coming. Behind the house. I know, I know, I know, I know. And his teammates being really good buddies here and calling out the King Tiger to the Sherman regardless even if he gets the first shot off I really don't see how this is gonna end well for the Panther and the driver just sticking his head out of the tank like an absolute Chad it's a King Tiger King Ti it is indeed a King Tiger and the Sherman unafraid decides to fully charge it and he's by himself by the way this is a one-man tank crew do not recommend this sort of strategy gentlemen especially against a fairly superior armored vehicle he's gonna flank it oh my god and the sherman manages to get behind the tank and the king tiger is completely unaware and he's probably trying to switch seats here he's gonna get a shot off on his gun oh my god this is why you don't one-man tank gentlemen he gets a shot on the rear He's going to get another shot off, and the King Tiger is setting up perfectly for the Sherman to get another shot in his ass. Oh my god, but he got back in the seat. Maybe he didn't have a shot. He's getting up, but that King Tiger is turning his turret, and he needs to hurry up here, or he's going to get creamed. And surely the driver now is going to see the Sherman. What is going on? Oh no, this is this is game over now. He's in a horrible position here. He's broadside into King Tiger, and the King Tiger gets a shot on the Sherman. This is no amount of rounds. Those rounds are just absolutely bouncing off of the front of this King Tiger here. This is what an embarrassing show here by the Sherman tank crew, the solo tankman, and look at this Sherman absolutely igniting in flames. What did you expect? But it's not over for the King Tiger because the infantry are absolutely pummeling it with rockets. The Sherman definitely going to explode here. But the Sherman crewman manages to redeem himself from getting a crewman kill. King Tiger like absolutely brushing it off like it's nothing. But more rounds coming down range. By another tank. We've got another Sh Sherman medium tank here. With a really nice position to shoot the King Tiger in the ass. 
and he's hitting it. Those hey, seem to be please. penetrating. We just need to keep doing exactly what he's inside doing, the, and he might house. succeed. He, I think he probably tracked the vehicle here. And he has. The vehicle is not going anywhere. This is a mobility yeah, kill for the, now. There are, um, so many missiles. The King Tiger needs to turn its turret. It's still an incredibly powerful vehicle. It just needs to turn the turret. Oh, no. And this looks like it's going to be a done deal here for the King Tiger. Oh, my God. What a shame. I don't know if it's just me, but this seems like a very inexperienced tank crew here. Easily one of the most overpowered vehicles of the war, probably in this game, and they're just absolutely getting creamed by a medium Sherman. To be fair, it is tracked and in a way better position. It's going to be a big victory here for the Americans. But look how many shells it takes to kill this King Tiger, even when it's at a disadvantage and it's getting it straight in the butt. Look at this. How many more shots does he need? Look at that penetration kill right there. You can see the impact. You can see that's pure penetration right there. That's a very nice detail that this game offers that I don't really see in any other games. You can see the point of impact where the bullet went in and went out the other side. Very impressive. And it seems like that tank crew is probably dead in there because I have not seen this King Tiger move at all in the last couple of minutes. And it just goes to show you that one Sherman really will have a very difficult time killing a tank crew, especially a competent German tank crew such as this one, because he is still shooting. He's directly behind this tank, and he is still putting rounds into it, and nothing is happening. There's absolutely nothing. This thing is just absorbing the cheese like it's nothing. But anyway, back onto the five, checking the map. The Germans, while we were fighting that, have managed to successfully take AA position. Completely in hold here. The flag's still flying. Oh, actually, no, it's on the way up. A nice cool detail of this game. Love to see it. But I guess the only objective of this game is to hold this point for as long as possible. There's no other objectives. That's very cool. I like that. Battle of pure carnage. And the Germans seemingly the much better team here. Infantry-wise, I don't know about the armor. That uh, three-man tank crew like, really messed up hard. Pick up against a medium Sherman. And the Germans have excellent positions here to defend. We have a German bus saw going off here. Where is he at? Nope. Can't see him. Ah, oh, there he is. This is the sound of this magnificent death machine. We're gonna follow this man around and witness the carnage he is yet to inflict. But he seems to be worried about something. Let's see what he's looking at, if there's anything even around here. Yeah, we got some Americans coming in from the north. The Germans kind of surrounded here, except from their west side. Their strong point is definitely on the west side. They try to protect the north, the east, and the southeast now. And this German just waiting to get his buzzsaw going. I'd very much love to see it, man. Come on, set it up. I want to see you shoot this thing. I'm gonna follow these guys into the trenches. Oh my god, making making a short film on this game would be absolutely amazing. He's gonna. Seems like he's being very patient to find a nice position here. Cause there are a shit ton of Americans. If he oh, and he gets killed. But an American that just happened to do a really nice flank, and the Americans slowly flanking in here on the south side, southwest side as well. But they still have a lot of work to do if they want to recapture the AAA position. And the machine gunner is, needs to get his gun back up ASAP because there's a ton of Americans. 
coming down the line and his buzzsaw has a huge chance of absolutely inflicting a, a ghastly amount of carnage. And the Sherman absolutely pummeling the German positions in an excellent position here to absolutely deal so much damage. Two Shermans, by the looks of it. And that Sherman is still active. I mean, that Tiger II is still online. I mean, they just need to repair it. Because it's, yeah, it's just immobilized. If that German crew gets back here, they could fix it. We can see the American tankman, tank crew here, trying to repair the tracked vehicles. Oh, damn! And that crewman does his job, but absolutely gets creamed. And a really cool thing about Postscriptum is the tank mechanics and the repairing and all sorts of things. For example, if the tank's tracked, gets destroyed, you actually have to get out and go on the side of that track and repair it from that side. You can't just, you know, exit the vehicle and repair from whichever side, whichever part has the most cover. No, you have to actually go to the part of the vehicle which has inf been inflicted the damage and repair it from there. And I find that really, really cool. Something that not even Squad itself does, or Hell Let Loose for that matter. Which is why I find this game to be such a fantastic World War II tactical shooter. And it definitely deserves a lot more attention. Granted, it needs a lot of work. And I believe that they will get there, but I honestly cannot wait for when they do get there. And just like that, I'm not paying attention again, and the Americans have made it back onto the point. It hasn't even been two minutes. And the Americans are already back at the center of AA position. Just goes to show you that things can change in a matter of seconds. But Med Cowboy being West very West. patient here in oh, the bushes. No, just waiting for his perfect moment. And he's gonna maybe get some kills here. He gets two kills. Get some nades in that hedge lane. He's being very, very patient with his G3 rifle. I'm gonna kill you and then I'm gonna piss off. If he hurries up, he might be able to see some more of them. Yep. There they go. They're gonna crawl and they'll get that kill. He needs to wait. You can see so many people. He's absolutely gonna rack them up here. My god, dude, this guy's unstoppable, man. Killing everyone. The man is unstoppable. And the Germans are coming back in here through the south side. The Germans crawling back in here through the front. And the Americans holding the line here. Can they hold on? Very likely not. This seems like a very hard position to hold. It's not... It seems to be very nicely fortified, but there's a lot of elevation surrounding it, making it difficult to protect for a long period of time. And the first objective has been captured by the 4th Infantry. Got it. And what does that mean? Does that mean the game's over? We'll soon find out. And the German buzzsaw inflicting carnage. German buzzsaw against the American M1-1919. And he's trying to get in a better position. But the buzzsaw is going to come out on top here, it looks like. But he doesn't get his bipod down in time. And the M1919 gets a better position. He's going to try and get his pistol out. Oh, and he might get lucky here. Oh, no. Oh, and he gets it absolutely domed in the head. And another American here with a grease gun just chilling in the cornfields. Seemingly unaware of this German's buzzsaw abilities. And the Greek. Oh, wow. He didn't see that. American buzzsaw setting up here. And he can't believe he's not going to see this guy. Surely you must see him. You're going to take out his pistol. Why don't you just use your buzzsaw? Ah. That was very. Was not dramatic at all. I was expecting something really cool there. So it appears the way this game works, you got to hold on to the position until the timer runs out, and then you go on to the next point, which is moving up to tents, and is opening up here in five seconds. An interesting game mode that I'd very much love to play sometime. Because I've only played offensive in this. Never actually played Supremacy. 
An American tactic is absolutely dealing carnage at a relentless rate here. Have yet to be destroyed. Except for one solo tank crewman. And I think this guy is also the same guy by himself. True shame. Oh, and a German This sets an anti-tank mine on the back of the Sherman. This could be very bad for the Sherman. No, dear. dear. And it blows up engines. The Sherman. Not that it mattered. Because that man is a one-man tank crew and all he cares about is being on the gun. And he doesn't know that, but he just killed the guy that tried to kill him. The Sherman here is going to have to get out of his vehicle eventually. And we got a German with a Panzer Shrek. Oh, and he hits the tank and also absolutely obliterates the tank crewman who got out to repair it. There's nothing left. Holy shit. And a German throwing a grenade underneath the Sherman. Probably going to reload his Panzer Shrek to get a critical kill here on the Sherman. And a really nice turn of events here for this German Panzer Shrek user. I don't know what he's trying to do. Should just get another rear hit. Or look like he's trying to track it again. But man, these tanks can really soak up the cheese, man. It like, takes a lot of damage to get these things. He's putting another anti-tank grenade on it. And let's see if this does it. If not. And it doesn't. How much damage do these tanks need? To blow. Very impressive amount of cheese soaking. But the tank is going to remain tracked on one side, and I think the Germans are going to let it be. But they know it's only a matter of time before the Americans come back to take this. Let's quickly go and have a look at the cap, the next cap. Very uncomfortable looking position to defend here. There's a lot of medical tents, it seems. Not very much to de to defend other than some bushes, a few trenches here, and some tents. But the Americans have some time to catch up. And the Germans need to start setting up here, because there are a lot of flanks here that are currently open and very exposed. We have some Germans up here. In this sniper tower, and we do have a sniper here. This looks like he's going to home in on his first victim. Well, not his first, but probably one of many. I don't know who he's shooting at. Might be shooting at Fonko, the tank crewman. I don't know if he can see him from that far. Oh, he can! And he almost hit him. Oh! And German tank... Uh, sorry. And Kokoro almost got killed by G-Wolf. It sounded like he was shooting a grease gun from that far. This looks like a very uncomfortable position here. Oh, and look at that sea of blue coming in from the west. But the Germans this time seem to be ready to defend. A much easier... Well, well not easier, but less uh, precarious position to defend, seeing as there's only a few directions which they can come from. But on the point itself, not very much of use in terms of, you know, constructible cover here. It appears we have another armored vehicle pulling up here, and let's check out what it is. And is it a tiger? It is. It's a tiger. Not a king tiger, just the OG tiger. And he gets screamed by the grease gun. And this tiger has no infantry support right now, completely by himself. We got an OG with a grease gun trying to get behind the tank. Probably has an anti-tank grenade or something. Yep, there he goes. He's going to put a satchel on and he gets killed. By the vehicle in movement. The one quick bazooka shot on the back of the tiger. And the tiger's tracked. Oh my god. Not a very good position for this tiger to be in. And he's really in a shitty spot here. And he gets out? Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. Not very good. And he's gonna die here, yep. Oh, 
my god. Oh my god. Dude, the carnage. The this is this is so intense. Wow. My god, the gore in this game is just really like impressive. <laughs> it's like it's like almost as good as Hell at Loose. I think Hell at Loose might be a little bit better. It might be better than Hell at Loose. I haven't compared it in a long time, but... Germans here, here to reinforce the Tiger that is currently uncrewed. Seemingly by another solo tanker. Doesn't make any sense at all, but they're gonna res... The crewman? No, they can't. The man is literally... There's nothing left. There's nothing left to revive. <laughs> But a lot of Germans here, sorry, a lot of Americans pushing through the grape fields here. And we can see them pushing out here. Gonna flank these Germans here and they're gonna get a quick sneaky kill in the rear. This German seemingly doing a lot, but he's gonna get flanked here. Oh. Got and they do him, succeed. And Americans celebrating their victories here. Getting a quick res on his buddy. And the Americans are back in action. I'll get you. Don't give up. But the Germans are not giving up. North of you guys. Medic, north of you. In this small building near. Everyone just dropping like flies here. We have a German bus saw set up with his MG42 on the road here. If he just holds that road, he'll be able to get so many kills as Americans are streaming across the road. He needs to get a little bit further out. Oh my god, look at that opportunity there. He's gonna move across the street. He might get domed here. Yep. But if he sets up his buzzsaw in time... And he throws a smoke grenade to give him enough time to set up, maybe. Germans are streaming in here to counter the American push. And they must have a spawn back there because there's a lot of them coming. This gentleman reloading his MG42. He needs to hurry up and set it up because there's no one popping up now, but I can guarantee you in a few seconds here, they will be popping up. If that smoke wasn't in the road, he'd be getting so many kills right now. We got this gentleman here going absolutely balls to the wall with his Sturmgewehr 44. Doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing, being very aggressive. Holding the line, and we got another squad of Americans. Seemingly pushing into the west side of tents. Oh, and Pixel gets creamed by Ito. Or probably Kuba 777. Yep. And Frank B29, the only man left alive other than Manny McFly. I think. No, he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's. 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 There's nothing left. And Kuba 777. Pushing, probably gonna get killed by Kuba. He's not paying attention to his left flank, but. Never mind. Oh, there's a quick- Oh, wow! Oof! That just sucks. That just sucks to be that guy. That... So, have a look at the map here. We can see that the Americans have one FOB on the southwest side of tents, as well as on the direct south side of tents. The Germans only have one FOB to the north of tents, and it's not- It is close, I guess, but... Probably not close enough to get back. Oh! And one gentleman has just disabled the fob, and now the Germans have no spawns other than rallies on tents. So all the Americans have to do is slowly pick these gentlemen off one by one, and we have a stream of Germans falling back into the cap. Probably knowing that if they play too aggressive here, they might uh, end up losing the cap because they won't be able to reinforce the cap fast enough if they go down. Some Germans pushing back into the beaches. For whatever reason. Let's 
Seems like they're trying to get maybe a rally up. Squawfy, I think, might be trying to get a rally up on this beach here somewhere. The Germans still in control of medical tents. And Americans do still have a long way to go. But it isn't impossible. And Squad 4 probably going to get a fob up here on the north side of tents. But I don't think he has any teammates to dig it up. Let's see where he is. There he is. And the German Fallschirmjäger Regiment successfully captured tents just by the tip of their fingers. Now the next cap is going to pop up here. Probably momentarily. It's 465 to the Americans to 525 for the Germans. And it's one to one apiece for each flag. There's only four more flags that could pop up. Over the mass, so this probably is still going to carry on for quite some time. These games do really drag on, which makes for great fun, but, you know, understandably, probably most people on YouTube won't watch videos this long, but I do find it entertaining. So if you stuck around this long, thank you so much, and uh, consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more. But getting back to the fight, the next cap still hasn't popped up. Oh, and it is technically in the Americans' favor. The only ones with a fob really close to it. They have two fobs very close. And the Germans overwhelming the United States' northeastern fob from Island Farm. But it looks like they're going to ignore it. They just ran right past it. Oh. Wait. Okay, no, this is a German spawn then. Why is it blue? This is definitely... Yeah, this is definitely a German fob. But why is it coming up blue then? Okay, I guess I need to look for the red radio then. I don't know. We're still learning. Is this a Schwimmwagen or is this just... It's just uh, a Volkswagen. Okay. It's a people's car. And the Americans already on the point. Protecting the shit out of the point. From the eventual German Porsche. Here. And we got Fonko probably back in his medium German tank. Taking another direct hit. And he somehow managed to flip the tank. This guy is just really needs to work on his tanking skills, man. Because that's like the third tank he's lost. I don't know if he's going to try and flip it here. I don't think he's fighting another tank. I think he's just fighting a Panzer Grenadier or... Oh, yeah. He is uh, definitely fighting something. And a pack 40. The Germans have a pack 40 set up on the beach. And this Sherman is definitely going to get creamed here momentarily. Don't know what they're shooting at. But the pack 40 need to focus on destroying the Sherman here. And they've lo they're not longer oh, yeah. paying attention, it seems. They're loading their canon. And I think. The tank is tracked, my friend. Is it? No, it's not. It's not tracked. And the Sherman might try and get a shot here on the, on the Pack 40. And he should if he wants to get out of this alive. Oh my god. Is it really this difficult to aim in a tank? Oh my god. He's missing so badly. Like, so horrendously badly. This is really not a good look. Let's go quickly have a look at the back 40. And he's missing so badly. <laughs> he might not have enough elevation for the shot. I do not know. And look at this horrifying scene. And that Sherman just, it just sucks. I mean, he's just a really bad shot. But the back 40 also missing shots here. They're just exchanging rounds down range here. And another direct hit on the Sherman. That Sherman driver needs to fucking get in the wheel and drive forward a little bit. Because I don't know what he's trying to hit. He's trying to hit a rock or something. Consistently hitting next to the rock here. And the Pack 40 just consistently unleashing Hellfire onto the vehicle here. 
for some reason they changed targets. And the Sherman finally dialing in the range. Might actually get a hit here. And Pack 40 just probably changed positions here. Almost killing the Pack 40 crew. Oh, and he killed one of them. Well, I don't understand why these guys are moving. I don't know why they moved. They didn't have to. They literally didn't have to move. They were doing just fine. What? I do not understand the logic of that, but... Hopefully they come back to it. Oh, and we looks like we have some engineers coming behind the tank. Yep. They're here. Let's see what they're going to do. If they're going to put anything on the vehicle. Probably not. I think they're just memeing here. Not able to do much. Might be calling it out. The Germans really need to get their armor back online, but it seemed like the only armor worth their salt are the Americans, and it's literally a one-man crew. Maybe he put a satchel down or something? I don't know. Nope. The only chance these guys had was that Pack 40, and it looks like it did almost nothing. I, I don't understand how that's even possible. It seemed like he got so many hits. This game remains a mystery, but the damage models for some of these tanks doesn't really make a lot of sense. I don't know, but maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, and the American spawn is completely overrun here. Damn, you had to fall all the way down. It's gonna be a tough one. Gonna let the smoke. Are you American's still holding on here, but they're definitely yeah. gonna get surrounded here. It's only a matter of time. Yeah. Radio There's man only one up. MSP okay, for I'm the Americans, and the Germans are very close to it. This actually might be German. What is Shit. going on here? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a triple A gun. Hitting the position perfectly. And he's gonna leave it. No, now he's getting on the pack 40. Look at him move this thing. It looks so bad when he does that. <laughs> Jesus, and he's getting on the pack. We're we gonna start shooting here. Do it, man. Oh, he's gonna move it in a bit more. Look at this. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, it works. Just just make it work, I guess. And it's a pack 40. It's a mobile gun is uh, available. And now he's gonna start moonwalking this shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What the fuck, man? I mean, I guess the animation for that would be really complicated, right? But yeah, there's just no way this is happening. Like, this, you know what I mean? One person moving this thing, I don't know, man. This is like a horse kind of job. Just moving this thing with no effort. It's a fucking car. Moving back to the battlefield. Germans, evidently, surrounding the defense. And a Sherman tank, apparently, on the cap here. Yep. Completely surrounded by Germans. Will he be able to do anything about it? Probably not. Takes a direct hit by a Panzerfaust. Sorry, a uh, Panzer Shrek. Probably gonna try and get out of here, but this man with the Panzer Shrek is absolutely hauling ass, trying to get a grenade on the back of him or something. Yep, here he goes. But the Sherman just kicks it into third gear and getting the fuck out of Dodge. He might get another Panzer Shrek on his ass here. He's gonna hurry up and reload. And he tried, but he completely missed. Let's see who it is, if it's this our legend. Nope. Doesn't tell me. It is, it is, it's Vanko. The one-man tank crew. And we have another vehicle here with four people in it. Probably a more competent tank crew. Let's go see what they're up to. And the Germans have successfully solidified their point onto Nilda Farm. 
And is this another boring Sherman here? I don't... It is not. It is not. It is an easy 8 Sherman. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. Looks like a tank straight out of fury. Absolutely spectacular Sherman here. Devastating vehicle. And hopefully the Americans make really good use of it. Just look at that, man. The devs really outdid themselves with the cosmetics for the Sherman here. Looking really true to life. Looking amazing. And I like how the tankers actually have to get up to certain parts of the tank to be able to enter it. Oh, and the Easy 8 is taking hits. And the Panzerfaust and the Pack 40 now hitting the Easy 8. They need to get out of here. They're broadsiding this Pack 40. And lucky for them, the shells are just bouncing right off of this Easy 8. And this, this tank looks like it's been through the ringers, had a lot of experience. I'd be terrified to go up against this thing in any battle. Modern or retro, you know what I mean. And look at that, man. That looks so cool, dude. Let's see what the Pac-40 is doing. They're repping this thing. Trying to get back online. And we got some Americans here, maybe trying to locate the position of the Pac-40. And what's going on over here? We have uh, two team kills. Oh no, it wasn't a team kill. Grim Zero cleaning house. Grim Zero cleaning house completely. Running here by himself, unaware of what his class is. He's a squad leader. We have Captain Cocaine. Probably trying to get a shot on that easy eight here. With his Panzer Shrek or his Panzerfaust. I think he's got a Panzerfaust. Let's see if we can locate the Easy 8. And there it is. Coming out into the open. And now. Trying to get a better shot. Maybe trying to eliminate the crewman. Oh! And he gets taken out. I don't know who by. He gets taken out by that American with his BAR. Light machine gun. Americans just streaming across here. Unaware as to why they're this far south. They need to be moving up here. But this American, I'm really liking the strategy. This American not being too aggressive. Just knowing when to push. Being very patient. Goes in line making sure that his boys get across this field. And they've located the pack. And Sherman Easy 8 is engaging. They have eyes on the pack. Almost hits the pack just short, like by a few meters. And the pack might try and return fire here. The pack is still online. And the Sherman is short. They really got to die on the range here. And the pack is firing back. Direct hit for the pack. Not sure as to what the strategy is, if it's really this difficult to hit shots. And the pack is getting hits on the Sherman here. And either the Sherman is just completely undeterred by this pack. But now we have triple A fire and the pack gets a direct hit. Goes up in flames. And now it's just a seemingly losing battle here. The Sherman Easy 8 oh, is fighting a triple-A gun. Pretty sure this is going to do absolutely nothing. It's just a... Other than blinding the gunner and concussing the absolute shit out of the crew. This might be very interesting here. See these... This triple-A gun go up in flames, understanding why they're giving away their position like this. The EZA may be thinking he doesn't want to waste ammo on this thing. 
And he hits the tree, and the tree just absolutely absorbs the shit out of the cheese. And there goes the pack. Sorry, the 88. No, not the 88. The AAA gun. Goes up in flames in the pack. And the AAA site is now offline. But Germans are still spawning here. Seemingly probably trying to get themselves gathered and maybe getting another gun up. We have a shit ton of Americans pulling in here from the north, though. Just in time, and they're going to disable this radio. And the Germans almost securing their cap onto uh, Inland Farm, and they're going to be up two to one to the Americans. This is honestly not going to come down to tickets unless the Americans get really lazy with their tickets uh, drain here. It's very even on tickets, but it's going to come down to the flag. The Germans only have to capture one more flag to win this game. Can the Americans come back? This is a very cool game mode. I really like this. This is like makes for some very competitive tactical gameplay here. And the Americans doing everything they can, but seemingly know that it's going to be a losing battle. Absolutely nowhere near Inland Farm. Probably getting ready on the next cap, but they definitely don't know where it's going to be. Unaware of what just blew up here. Only got to see that in the replay. It was a truck. And Pablo absolutely igniting like kerosene and burning up and never to be seen again. We got Fonko, the solo tank man. Getting owned by Captain Cocaine. And another Panzerfaust into the ass of Captain of the uh, Fonko. Does Captain Cocaine have any more Panzerfausts? For the Sherman. And another shell just absolutely bounces off the back of the Sherman. Really unfortunate here. And Captain Cocaine throwing an anti tank grenade really short. And man, if he just gotten closer, that could have done some serious damage. He's probably going to send the round down range here and absolutely cream Captain Cocaine. But he has another one. He needs to hurry up and get close. And Captain Cocaine absolutely unhinged, pushing the Sherman. Is he going to get there in time? It looks like he is, but. Oh, he turned his turn around. He's not going to see it. And Captain Cocaine gets an anti tank grenade stuck on the back. And if he gets out of the vehicle. And now it's a 1v1, but this thing's gonna blow up, probably gonna destroy the vehicle. And it doesn't. Captain Cocaine fucks it up, but Fonko loses his vehicle and the Germans win the fight. And that's another vehicle lost by Fonko. Real shame. Good effort by Fonko, but the Germans coming out on top once again. And this satchel placed by the last remaining German here is probably gonna seal the deal. Oh, he set two satchels. Or, or did he set mines? What did he, what did he put down? I think he put mines down. And another rocket. Panzerfaust. Panzer Shrek just bounced off the back of it. And this should steal the deal here. Come on, surely. That thing is burning up. Oh my god, dude. How, am I, how many shots do these things take? Just never ending. I don't think I've ever seen an infantryman destroy a vehicle in this game. Like, seriously, there's no... Like, you need, like, three of these guys to all hit it in the right spot. Or it's gonna bounce, or it's just gonna do, like, nothing. And another explosion, the tank still hasn't blown up. Throwing an anti-tank grenade now. And another anti-tank grenade, two anti-tank grenades, and this Sherman is just absorbing the cheese like it's nothing. I just... So your only hope is to just disable it completely, immobilize it, and kill the crew, because otherwise this thing is just going to live to fight another day. I mean, all that's going to happen now is this Fonko is just going to get back to the Sherman and happy days. And someone died here? Anyway, the Germans up 2-1 to one officially to the Americans. And they got to get to assembly point ASAP, and the Americans in a better position to get there first. With only one full squad, mind you, up against two to three that are coming up. And the Americans coming up with an MSP here. Probably going to be spotted by the Germans, but he's absolutely hauling ass here on the beach. And making a smart play here, going a little bit further east. 
so that he doesn't get creamed by pushing German infantry. I'm going to follow him here and hopefully see him succeed because the Americans need this MSP. And they set it up here. Very risky MSP selection here, but it's better than nothing. And that border landed right at his feet, but didn't kill him. What the fuck is going on? How does that make any sense? That man just... <laughs> oh, and this German definitely noticed the MSP. He went to investigate, but luckily he killed him. But now they're going to know that there's here. And we got the sniper here in the building. Going to scope him out in his bell tower like a scene out of Pri Saving Private Ryan. And he's going to get seen here 100%. Or not, I guess. Oh, yeah, he's going to see him. And he takes a shot. One shot, one kill. And the German marksman changes the tides of Saving Private Ryan into the German's favor. And it's now saving Private Klaus. And the German sniper absolutely holding the line with the German army, preventing the Americans from spawning on their MSP. And this German sniper is completely by himself. He might get a shot. Oh, and he gets absolutely bitch slapped by the American M1 Garand. And the Americans pushing off that MSP and... Surprisingly, a very effective MSP. I thought it would be absolutely terrible, but luckily for them, they got it at just the right time, and now the Americans have a foothold on the assembly point. It's all come down to this. They have to cap this if they want to tie the game and have a chance of winning. Because if the Germans cap this flag, it's game over for the Americans. And the battle is absolutely raging on here at the assembly point. Got an American with a Browning M1-1919. M19. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! We're just about to follow this man's amazing story and he gets absolutely team wiped. Oh, we got a German with the infamous Sturmgewehr 44. The first known assault rifle to man. Well, probably not the first because, I mean, the Fedorov technically was an assault rifle, but it was too, too young for its time. And the Germans just pushing the line here in a very impressive display of pyrotechnics and explosions. And just unleashing lead here. And the Americans doing everything they can to hold the line up against the relentless German army. And this is truly a scene to behold here, ladies and gentlemen. A situation I never hoped to be in in real life, but something I'm very, very happy to be part of in the virtual world. This is a battle of the ages. Who's gonna come out on top? And look at the front line. Perfectly set up here, and this German here is seemingly pinned down. He's gotta hurry up and get into the trench if he wants to survive. And he does. We're gonna follow him in here and see where he goes. Oh, this might lead all the way. I don't know. Where's it gonna lead? Oh, nowhere. <laughs> There's a lead. Oh no, it leads somewhere. Oh, it leads back to where we just were. Never mind. I guess you would go down there to get away from the explosions when the allies were bombing the beach. Could you imagine if that thing caved in on you, though? Oh my god. Oh, and he gets creamed. And the artillery is falling down here on the American positions. But the Americans are holding firm. But as we can see, what well, we turn on the nameplates here, we can see the Americans slowly, the Germans slowly beginning to make a bit of a foothold here. The Americans just doing just enough to push them off. Not enough people here to actually start decapping the flag. And the Americans just about halfway capped. And the flag, as you can see, is roughly about 45% of the way up the pole. Uh, this makes for a very, very cool thumbnail. We could just see a little bit more carnage unfolding. It would be absolutely awesome. By the way, I haven't heard a single team communicate in squad comms this match. Probably better for me because it was getting a bit crazy last time and I couldn't even hear certain things. 
Oh, man. Was witnessing the scenes of carnage absolutely unfold all over the map. Got to remember with the Browning 19, sorry, Browning M1919. Holding the line against the German invasion here. Can he stop them? I don't think he'd even see anyone. He's probably killed everyone he's shot at for now. And the support gun are doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing. Suppressing the line for his infantry. But the Germans are seemingly still creeping through the gaps here. And they need to be careful because there is a machine gun post just to the left. And the Germans seem to have clocked onto this. Oh, and the Germans trying to breach the trench. But he's just waiting in here. He's trying to get a frag in there. And it bounces, but he's perfectly in the trench. And he's going to be fine. And look at him. We're going to see his face now. Perfectly intact. And he goes in. Oh, he died? Wow, <laughs> the fragmentation went through the little gap. It was very unfortunate, but there's still Americans in here. But they traded. And everyone is dead. Inside of the trench. Unsuccessful push here by the Germans. But they went tit for tat. And the Browning M1919 still holding the line. Being very patient. But he should change positions here because the Germans are surely going to home in on his position here any moment. Americans pushing out of the line here, trying to be more aggressive, and Germans already back at their positions. We're going to follow them in here and see if they're successful in their push. Watch them as they come up here. And the flag now just at about 65% up that flagpole. And Fonko is back with his solo tanking role here. And the M1919 is right there, but he's not noticing. And this gentleman with his FG42... Clean in the line here. Don't know if there's anyone left alive. He's going to try and res his friend here, and he gets him up. But there's Americans just on the other side of the trench. And this paratrooper, Falschermjäger, with his Falschermjäger 44. Clean the line, and he doesn't even know that there's a guy right here. He's probably going to guess that he's inside the trench, and this grenade could be critical. He's going to get two kills on the Falschermjägers. And he does. Excellent grenade kill here by... Manny McFly and Grandma or Grenada or whatever the fuck his name is and Kardash EV's quack still holding the line with his M1919 Browning light machine gun or heavy machine gun I guess he just needs to keep holding that line because there are actually a shit ton of Germans right there looking at the map we see the Americans are still holding the line firmly and that flag is now at 90% up the flagpole. I need to hurry up. What is that? Is that a... That's a BF-109. Flying up there. And the Germans still have time to take this back. There's honestly not that much... Not that many Americans actually on the assembly point itself. They're just in very well entrenched positions. The Germans just need to make a mad dash here. To get it. Because they could... Honestly, overwhelm the Americans if they the wanted to. On the scout Very difficult push for the Germans. It looks like we have our first push here on the northern flank. And look at the Germans just pouring in here. And they're going to make it, and then they break the breach. They breach through the lines, and they're in the trenches. And here we go. We're going to follow the Germans here and see if they're successful. The Americans come in the counter. And this might be the end for the Germans here. And Quack with his M19 Browning couldn't get it done. But there's another American alive here. Tries to throw the grenade. And he fails. He doesn't get to throw it in time. And the Germans could pull off the impossible here and just stop the cap. There's barely any Americans left on the point. And they need to hurry up and get there. Because they're running out of time. we got an American sniper here. Clean the house and come on, shoot this guy. It's gonna pop up here and see if he gets him, and he does. 
Understandably so. And have the Germans done it literally at 99% up the pole? Will the German flag start raising here? And the Ger Oh my god! Has it happened? Oh my god, the Germans have begun capping! The Germans have achieved almost the impossible and just in the nick of time manage to stop the cap at like 99%. This could be the game here for the Americans. And now it's up to the Americans to come back, back in. They still have that MSP on the southeast side of the beach. Which is completely in the open, mind you. But the Americans are still spawning on it, but the Germans are pushing in. We got a man with a Panzer Shrek here, probably gonna try and destroy the MSP, and he does! The MSP goes down! We got a German here unhinged with his MG34 going hip fire. Holy shit! The Americans with an absolute fuck you to the Americans and destroying another spawn point. And there's nothing left here for the Americans. This is just very impressive. A very impressive display by the German paratroops, 44 paratroop squad, whatever they're called, something like that. But good for them. Truly competitive game. Very, very competitive gameplay here. But the Americans aren't out of the fight yet. They just had to get a spawn point in a strategic place, and it looks like they already do. It's a bit of a f long run, to be completely honest, but... If I were in their shoes, I would definitely try and do what you can off of rallies at this point. If you can get a fob up relatively quickly, go for it. But now is not the time to be sitting down and going over game plans. You just got a fucking full send at this point. Because the Germans are already at 20% up the flagpole. And not an American in sight to contest. And the Germans looking much more organized here on the assembly point. Looks like we have another strafing run here. By a BF-109. You love to see it. And we have Germans pushing out into the... Out into the beach for some reason. We have an American sniper in squad 3 pushing on the south side of the beach here. Probably off the only spawn point they had. Well, one German holding the line. German radio man holding the line. And he just about sees this gentleman. But this American man is just going to keep going. Chris P. Bacon. Stopping the American bands from the south. Seemingly completely by himself, other than Luna W, which is going up against a Sherman Easy 8, which we haven't seen for a minute here. But can American armor turn the tide of war here? We have Luna with his Panzer Shrek right in front of the Sherman Easy 8. Doesn't even have any bullets left. Why is he getting up? He just needs to stay put. And Luna getting creamed there. Absolutely. And the Shermans making way for the American armed forces. Will it be enough? This could genuinely turn the tide of war here for the Americans, but they need to be much quicker than what they're doing now because the German flag is almost at 40% capped. What's this? A German tank? Oh my god. Das is a Panzer IV. A Panzer IV with extra armor. Scheiße. We also have another tank. And das... Das is another Panzer IV. Two Panzer IV against two Shermans. Well, one medium Sherman and a Sherman Easy 8. A battle for the ages. This could really get greasy here, boys. 
The Shermans need to fucking push the line ASAP. There's no time for thinking here. They just need to push. It's gonna be a long time for those armor units to see each other though. Probably not in time for the game ends because now the Germans are more than 50% capped on their flag. And the Panzers, one of which is tracked already. Unbelievable. And are surrounded by American troops. And the American is going to set another satchel charge on the Panzer IV. Was he put, or maybe he's putting the mean in. Unaware of what he's just did, maybe he put another satchel on it. And the Panzer IV preemptively shooting the bushes to see if he can get some kills. And there goes the satchel. Panzer IV is burning up. He needs to get out there and put that fire out. And another satchel here going down on the Panzer IV. Is this going to seal the deal for one of the Panzers? And he, I think he killed himself. But the Panzer's still alive. Slowly burning up. It lost its rear uh, exterior armor here. But this Panzer is literally on fire and they need to get out and put this thing out or the, it's literally gonna ignite in flames and explode. I mean, it's already ignited in flames. But the crew is dead. And the Panzer IV abandoning his teammate knowing he has to get to the cap no matter what. But the flag. It's about 80% capped. And the American Sherman's pushing up the lines. And it looks like one of the Easy 8s has been blown up. By what? I don't know. But there is an overwhelming amount of Americans. Sorry, Germans surrounding these tanks. But it seems this tank is not a solo gunner. It's got a lot of people in there. Got a machine gunner, got a driver, got a spotter, and a gunner. And this Sherman's gonna send it to the front because he knows he's gotta get up there. There's not much he can do without infantry support. We might have our last tank battle here of the game, gentlemen. As the Panzer IV is up there on that hill. But they go unnoticed. Unaware as to what he's shooting here. I was just shooting some Germans. There they are, yep. I don't know why he's pushing so far north when the objective is right there. And this is definitely going to do it for the Americans. I don't really... Little chance I see them coming back here. And the flag is now to 90%. Truly amazing comeback by the Germans. I mean, they were already winning in the first place, but... The Americans were right there. They just had to hold on for literally like two more seconds. Like not even a second longer. They would have been fine. And that is going to do it here for the Americana. Where is an artillery strike when you need it? Seriously, like this is, would be amazing. If they had a commander that was using assets, you know, that would have been fantastic. And German Panzer crew moving back up the line. Unsure if he's even done anything significant yet. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, the game is over. The Germans have succeeded, and they have won the game. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to another episode of Top Down Tactics. My name is Sledge. We're playing here on the Exodus servers. You can join us completely for free. We are not a clan. We're a community. Great, like-minded people. We just love to play games, especially tacticals, milsome games, but not just that, you know. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night.